The Moore Penrose Inverse The Moore Penrose Inverse of a matrix is the most widely known generalization of the inverse matrix. It was independently described by Eliakim Hastings Moore in 1920 and Roger Penrose in 1955. The term generalized inverse is sometimes used as a synonym for pseudo-inverse. A pseudo-inverse is a matrix inverse-like object that may be defined for a complex matrix, even if it is not necessarily square. For any given complex matrix, it is possible to define many possible pseudo-inverses. If both the columns and the rows of the matrix are linearly independent, then the matrix is invertible and the pseudo-inverse is equal to the inverse of the matrix. This video is sponsored by Wit Science Channel. Before proceeding further, please subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, and share after watching this video. A common use of the pseudo-inverse is to compute a best-fit, least squares solution to a system of linear equations that lacks a solution. In the overdetermined case, a set of least squares estimates can be found by imposing constraints on the estimates. Another use is to find the minimum Euclidean norm solution to a system of linear equations with multiple solutions. The pseudo-inverse facilitates the statement and proof of results in linear algebra. Now, we are going to demonstrate how to perform calculation of matrix inverse and pseudo-inverse for both square and non-square matrices using Microsoft Excel. First example, we are going to find the inverse of square matrices, matrix ordo 2 by 2 and matrix ordo 3 by 3. Microsoft Excel has developed formula to find the inverse of square matrix, it is M inverse. Do not forget to put the equal sign prior to type the formula. We can check the result of a matrix inverse by multiplying the original matrix with its inverse. If the multiplication result is identity matrix, then the matrix inverse is valid. Perform the same steps for matrix auto 3 by 3. There are no software imposed limits to the size of matrix that can be multiplied in current versions of Excel. Basically, you can multiply matrices as large as you want provided you have enough RAM in your computer. However, if you are still using Excel 2003 or earlier, you'll be restricted to an output of 5046 cells when using the MOLT function. Roughly a 71 by 71 matrix. The identity matrix as a product of multiplication between original matrix and its inverse is a principle to verify the validity of the matrix inverse. This principle will also be used to verify the Moore Penrose inverse. Second example, we are going to find the inverse of non-square matrix using Moore Penrose method. In this example, we are going to find inverse of matrix 2 by 4, 2 rows and 4 columns. Then the order of matrix inverse should be 4 by 2, 4 rows and 2 columns. We apply right inverse formula from the Moore Penrose pseudo inverse method, as seen in blue box. You can follow the combination of Excel formulas in the red box above. Please remember to press Ctrl, Shift, 
and enter button simultaneously to complete the array number calculation. You may pause this video to review the Excel combination formulas. Once again, we need to check the result of matrix inverse. For this case, auto of the identity matrix should be 2 by 2, 2 rows and 2 columns. Overall summary, the pseudo-inverse is defined and unique for all matrices whose entries are real or complex numbers. That's all. Keep learn and be enlightened. Thank you for watching and do not forget to share this video. See you next time.